layer one of the OSI model is like the tin cannon strings layer of the internet, right? So that's that's uh, you know Ethernet cables and like radio waves, right? Um, so that setting up that kind of connection, like with this peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, is, is really all that does, right? We're just, we're literally just getting packets to each other, right? And if you look at the uh, addresses here, right? So ALL1C34, right? Um, that's a 40-bit address, right? MAC addresses are 48 bits long, right? So we can actually encode the the zero tier, let me transition back over here. Um, let's go to Crazy Murray. So when JJ joined this network here, Right, this MAC address. That, here, let me actually. I'm need to transition to the browser. I need to get one of those boxes with the button, JJ. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Do. <laughs> so JJ's uh, identity here, right, has a predictable MAC address, right. So when I transition back over here to the VL2 slide, right. So VL1 uh, just sets up the connection. It, it's a peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, VL2, you can kind of think of it as like VXLAN, right? Um, so, yeah. So in VL2, you have this overlay IP, right? So let's say 10.9.8.7, right? Alice gets on the airplane, right? She joins the Wi-Fi from the airplane. Her overlay IP has not changed, right? So if Bob's pinging Alice from her apartment, she gets on the airplane and joins the Wi-Fi there. The ping resumes, right? She gets off the airplane, goes to the coffee shop on the way to Bob's, joins the Wi-Fi there. The ping resumes, right? So as long as she has internet uh, connectivity, um, her IP address on the zero tier network does not change, right? Her MAC address stays the same on the zero tier network, right? And Bob is allowed to ping her, right? And then from the view of the VL2 network, it just works exactly like Ethernet would, right? So if She's got this IP and she says, hey, you know, she, she doesn't, she sends out an ARP, right? It says, who's got this IP address, right? Um, you know, zero tier can do its magic, right? Um, and Bob's your uncle, right? Nice. Um, yeah. And uh, the the node controller part is actually operates on, v, on VL2, right? So when you when you send down those settings like the that we looked at in the web UI with like the, the sitters and the rats and stuff. Let me switch back over to uh, the browser real quick. Transition, right? Um, that all works on VL2. So let's say I wanted to change our IP addresses. Let's say I wanted to renumber the network, right? I wanted to change from this 192 uh, thing. I want to change to- Put a Jira ticket in for that? Yeah, put a Jira <laughs> ticket in. I want to change from the 192 address for some reason to, to 10.242, right? My favorite one. Um, yeah, and you look over here and you'll see, yep, there we go. We now have these IP addresses, right? And I could actually delete, Whoa. yeah. So if I was to look at my interfaces here, so if config, yeah. So now I have a 10.242 address instead of a 192 address, right? Um, yeah, so all that works on VL2.